Gentlemen, honourable and distinguished guests, Lord Nadir Ahmed Nahab, Lord and Lady Mayor, the Deputy Mayor of Doncaster, Sheffield and Rotherham, welcome and also most importantly, Madam Moniza Basira, Harry Gration and my very, very lovely friend. Good evening, Aslam Alaikum and welcome to the Aruj Banqueting Hall, welcome to the Aruj Royal Iftar Party. Uh, as always, it's wonderful to see so many familiar faces and particularly to see that those of you who have heard me speak before, such as Julie sat at the far end and managed to secure seats near exit doors. That's very reassuring of my friends. Uh, these events always start with the recitation of the Holy Quran. So can I call upon the son of uh, Sajid Hussain, the proprietor of this eloquent hall, Hamza Hussain. Hamza Hussain? So what is the night of Laylatul Qadr? Laylatul Qadr hayrun min alfi shah. The night of Al Qadr is better than a thousand moons put together. The night of the night of the world move fi ha bi wizni kul bi wizni rabbi min kulli am. So this night, the angels on the roof, which is the soul, they descend by Allah's command and the and his decree. Peace and blessings and all goodness is what uh, is just on this night until the, uh, until the dawn. Thank you very much. The main hosts and organizers of this uh, event. First of all, the owner of this very eloquent, uh, lovely building, uh, Sajid Hussein Saab. Chaudhry Sajid Hussein. Please welcome him to the stage. Pretty on the stage. Come on, you man. Let's give him a round of applause. Give him some encouragement. <laughs> if you hear the fire alarm, I always say this to my lovely friends: Don't be following me, because I'll be running to the water for a staggering 19 hours a day. Nearly everybody I spoke to has said it's been the most comfortable Ramadan. But there's another reason uh, we wanted you all to join us in Ramadan and that is the birth of our new prince, Prince George Alexander Lewis, was born in Ramadan and Sajid Hussain said, I don't want to just open the doors, I want to do it in a true British Asian style. So tonight we are going to celebrate the birth of the royal baby in the most spectacular way with the nation's most respectable cuisine, curries. <laughs> and to that end, uh, I've invited you to one of South Yorkshire's most original and authentic Halal Curry and Chinese House, the Aruj Original Restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, to talk to you about the Aruj Project, can you please welcome on stage our host for tonight, Sajid Hussain Saab. A very generous round of applause, please. Chief guest, ladies and gentlemen, 
I can welcome you to the opening of one of the South Yorkshire's finest traditional agencies, the Aruj restaurant. People often tell me that they have to travel great distance to find decent restaurant. The Aruj Halal Asian and Chinese restaurant is the solution to South Yorkshire's catering problems. I have over 20 years experience in the catering industry and with one of the best chefs in England. I can guarantee to accommodate any request. I wanted to bring something different to South Yorkshire. I'm sure you'll believe me when I say this, but I haven't tasted a proper Chinese and curry house until you have eaten at the Aruj restaurant. I want to thank you all, especially our Lord Chief Guest, Lord Ahmed, and Lord and Lady Mayors, and other guests for coming today and making this celebration truly a memorable one. I'm very touched by the love and support you have shown by joining me today. Thank you very much. Just to mention that the Aruj restaurant, honestly, you will be amazed. I were going to show you a clipping of this, but being untechnical, I can't get it to work with them unless somebody wants to come and volunteer. But we've got, we've got a whole host of facilities in there, from prayer rooms to private cubicles. And uh, Shafta Mirza told me to say something about swinging doors, but I was a bit reluctant to use the word swinging with so many children around. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be very quick. Uh, I've got to call on stage two people because we're celebrating the Royal Club to do a one minute sing along with the national anthem. So, can I call upon my good friend, the drummer Jim, and also Mark from the Formation Service? Can you give them a round of applause because they don't know about what they're doing here? Won't we? Good evening. Uh, I do realize the Formation Service have chased me down, Father. You've got the whole phone. I'd like to thank for inviting us all this night and putting us two right on the spot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> have a little sing along. If anyone would like to stand up, why not? Stand up, come on. Makes it easier. <laughs> it's God Save the Queen, by the way, just in case you don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you start, you join it. Harry? Right. <laughs> God save our gracious Queen, lovely and noble Queen. God save the Queen. Send the victorious, happy and glorious, long to reign over us. God save. I grew up in an era where eating curries were not part of the norm. Where the nearest thing we had to watch in British Asianness on TV were watching programs like Mind Your Language. During that era of limitation, there was a pop diva from the Far East, Pakistan, who started challenging through her lyrics the status quo uh, of, of status quo both in Pakistan and here in the UK. Nadia Hassan known more widely for her lyrical achievements, was also a great British Asian achiever who dedicated her life to so many, but in death gave something much larger in the form of charity to the world. Next week marks a landmark in the legacy of Nadia Hassan, and Ramadan is a pivotal point of, for charity. I mentioned this to the host, Sajid Hussain, and he said, I want the opening, but I want, I want to celebrate the life of this lady who did so much for charity. Myself and Sajid Hussain have therefore invited an individual who, like Doreen Lawrence, 
has done so much in maintaining the legacy of the former pop queen Nazia Hassan in terms of her charity work. I want you all to give a very, very generous round of applause because it's the first time she visited us in the north, it's the first time she's come to Sheffield and it's a great honour. Miss Muniza Bashir, the mother of the former pop queen Nadia Hassan, please welcome Miss Muniza. Unfortunately, I can't bring them on to the stage, 
with too much weight in there, you'll see young pants there. She actually read, she was one of my friends who edited an article I wrote about Madame Nadia Hassan, which courtesy of Shafat Mirza in the paper, very good newspaper, was issued, as well, published in 42 different countries for the mainstream community. So a lot of people who are sat here, particularly from Bali, and my good friend, uh, Pam, just wanted to say one quick word to you. She didn't know Nadia Hassan, but she does know why you're here, she just wants to say something and then we will let as a non-Asian lady, I've not heard about your daughter until my dear friend Moksha asked me to edit his article. I was fascinated about her life and being a fellow cancer victim, I was amazed at the way she just fought and fought and fought. This world has been robbed of a beautiful voice and a beautiful person. Thank you so much for coming. To present an award to be purchased from Sajid Saab to Madam Manisa Bashir for her lifetime achievement in maintaining the legacy of Nadia Hassan. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a, a generous round of applause and also hand out to present the Thank you, Sajid Saab, for the award. Inshallah, I'm sure we'll be good. Um, we'll, wait, we'll wait and see, inshallah. Um, I'm going to perform a, a track for you all. Uh, it's actually dedicated for the children of the world uh, because, as you know, there's so much going around the world. Um, I must say, I'm not, I'm not actually come prepared today because normally I'm, I'm actually performing with a band. Uh, we have uh, backing tracks, music, and all that kind of stuff. So I just said to Sajid, I'll come round and I'll do a few verses of an Arabic song that I recently did, but I, I wasn't expecting so many. Uh, non-speaking Arabic, uh, you know, not non-Muslim people here. So, uh, just on the spot, I'll, I'll do I'll do something for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. But of course, um, I just feel it's important that we we kind of think about the children who are starving in Africa, in Syria, and all these parts of the world. It's, it's you know, Ramadan is all about. It's not just about it's not eating and drinking. It's actually about thinking about the poor, the needy. Uh, that's the main focus. So. Uh, I'll give you a few lines, I hope you can appreciate this and enjoy it, shall we? For across the oceans and the seas You're the hope that I seek It's your way that I breathe Think of the suffering Think of the pain Think of the children of the world Think of the suffering Think of the pain Think of the children of the world I feel the raindrops on my face I feel I wanna call your name I feel the suffering is insane Oh Allah told me not who's to blame Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel the raindrops on my face I feel I wanna call your name I feel the suffering is insane Oh Allah told me not who's to blame yeah, yeah. I saw an orphan child. He looked in denial. Mother, mother, where have you gone? I saw an orphan child. He looked in denial. 
Mother, mother, where have you gone? I feel the raindrops on my face. I feel I wanna call your name. I feel the suffering is insane. Oh, Allah, tell me now who's to blame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. This is a good head. Sorry. Wonderful, I think I've never seen a horse run so fast. <laughs> my next guest is uh, going to, just going to come on for one minute, as indeed is all the guests, because I promised my good friends like Shabir, Kashyap, Goliath, and all the other people who don't like to come out and around that this is not going to be a political event. I'm not going to have speeches, but I, I am under the what do you know, lots of lovely people want to say things about the restaurant, about the Royal Baby, about Ramadan, so I'm going to give a few of you a chance but not all of you, so I'm so sorry. But first of all, uh, I want to call upon a wonderful radio presenter from Jern FM who provide, provides so much happiness to us as we drive to the mo work in the morning. It's a great honour to welcome Joe from Dern FM. <laughs> They're making me work out. They're running. To be here. On the break for Sean Dern FM, I unfortunately wasn't on air when the Royal Baby was born, but we did have, on that particular morning, little messages on Facebook about how Baby, perhaps with Baby Wade and potential names and it's certainly been something that a lot of people have been interested in and it was kind of waiting and waiting and waiting and then suddenly as the baby arrived and then left the hospital uh, many people had plenty of comments and it's certainly been something as well I think even the people who played the I'm not bothered about the royal baby game were certainly bothered by the end of uh, the birth and of course uh, the baby leaving the hospital as well just the one thing that came to mind as I'm just sat here looking around the room now that you're all waiting your food. Uh, it's just how, from the royal baby being born, just how so many people were united and it's fantastic to be here this evening. Uh, tremendous honour to be here this evening and with so many people united in celebrating Ramadan and of course the royal baby. So, we're just going to come on for one minute uh, to say some wonderful about the royal baby and about this wonderful venue. I've got some guests who are at the back. David, if you all want to come to the front, there's plenty of seats. Shanaz, everybody else, if you all want to come to the front, there's plenty of seats. Please don't be stood around. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks, David. Everybody coming through, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Respected Lord Ahmed. Respected Lord Mayor. Father Chaudhry Saab. Mohammed Zaid. Brothers and sisters and respected guests, good evening and assalamu alaikum. A congratulation to everyone here on a, such a good project. And especially when you see such a beautiful project, it's like a painter. When you see a beautiful canvas, and always there are colors on the canvas. But when you see beautiful picture, the canvas tells a story. When you see this project, it tells a hard work of Sajid Chaudhry and Mr. Zaheer, that is family, his brother, and other his worker have done a fantastic job here. And I'm sure this evening, when you will enjoy the food, you will also admire these chefs. And at this note, I will leave uh, the stage for Mukhtar, and I'm also grateful to be given an opportunity to speak to you, such a distinguished audience, and congratulations again and congratulations to everybody for the Royal Baby. Thank you very much. Thank you. To join us, just at the end of here, not to just to, argue, but just to join us, please, because I know it's a little night and you've, you've sacrificed a lot to be here today. Please join us on the stage. A round of applause, I'm a young imam at the age of 22. I had to stretch it a bit whilst we weren't here. My, my next guest is a true bastion of Britishness. We welcomed him into our living rooms courtesy of a whole host of TV programmes. More recently, Look North became his comfort zone. He is renowned for his professional and unbiased representation on TV. He has become the pride of Yorkshire and a great honour for the North. Recently, we discussed that uh, he, had, he had been celebrated by being included in Her Majesty the Queen's Honours List. We want you, that myself and Sergeant, to celebrate his righteous achievements 
his contributions to the media world, and more importantly, his majestic manner of bringing different communities together through unbiased presentation. I picked up on. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honoured to call my next guest, a very good friend of mine. Please welcome a great British legend, Harry Gresham. Thank you, but uh, it sounds as if I write my own introductions after that as well. Thank you very much indeed. Look, it's a great honour for me to be here uh, this evening. Uh, I, I know a little bit about Ramadan, and I always am amazed by the discipline that is shown. Not being able to have any food from sunrise to sunset, uh, no drink either, uh, is a remarkable uh, discipline. And I know that it ends, I think I'm right in saying, Thursday and Friday with a celebration, Mukhtar. So uh, I hope that that's uh, something that everyone's looking forward to here. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. I didn't realise we were auditioning for The X Factor, but if anybody would like to come up and do a song, <laughs> nobody? Oh, well, that's a pity. We'll, uh, we'll do that a bit later on. Um, I would like to uh, commend uh, the Rouge uh, people who are, have opened their uh, new restaurant and banqueting hall. I sincerely hope it goes well, I'm sure it will. Uh, I love the story that you tell that you have, you've never really managed to find the right food in and around South Yorkshire. There was a nice little tale that I heard about the last election when um, they sent out the MPs to try and find out a little bit about the food in South Yorkshire. And uh, one guy was a potential parliamentarian, uh, found this sign in Barnsley which he thought would actually sum it up. It said outside the pub, it said a pie, a pint, and a friendly word. And he thought that must sum up what South Yorkshire is all about. <laughs> so he went in and he got his pie and his pint, and then he went back to the landlord and said, look, I've got my pie, I've got my pint, what's the friendly word? And the landlord said, don't eat the pie. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're gonna eat all this food um, I'd like to congratulate you on the community spirit that we're enjoying tonight. It really is fantastic. And to see you at the Lord Mayor's here as well uh, is even uh, more special. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. I'd like to thank Mukhtar for uh, his organisation as well. He's known in and around Barnsley as Gorgeous George. <laughs> okay. Um, enjoy the rest of the evening anyway, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you very much indeed for inviting me. Thank you very much. Can I just call upon Mrs. Gracian to join us on the stage, please? Please. This is the reason he's always keeping so young, because he has to compete with this gorgeous thing here. Look, look everybody, give her a round of applause. I know we're pressed for time, Harry, but when, when, when everybody started coming this evening, Lord, they said to me, wow, what a comfor comfortable attendance. And I thought for a moment it was my David Beckham looks or the fact that I was a Pakistani version of Danny DeVito what pulled in the crowd. But now I know different. You've got, you've got, you've got the admirers here. And living proof is that young lady sat there, Sergeant Jonathan Brooks' mother, has only come to see you, a JP from Rotherham, just to see you, young man. Is that right? You need to get a life. Get a life. <laughs> Before you leave, I want uh, Mr. Nazir uh, to present you with a bouquet of flowers and to give you a message from Mr. Sajid. You have a lifetime membership in the Arouge restaurant. You can come and please as you want. It's a discretionary meal for you every time you come. Isn't that right, Mr. Sajid? So can you uh, give the bouquet of flowers, please? <laughs> Before you leave, before you leave, because behind every successful man is a woman, and I know this, because I've got a very wonderful woman behind me, can my good lady present your good lady with a bouquet of flowers as well, please? If I me. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
evening, everybody. Uh, Lord Mayor, Lord Nas Ahmed, Harry Gration, honoured guest, greetings from Rotherham, the Salam Wakeham, and uh, thank you. Uh, it's a great event this to celebrate the birth of uh, the new royal baby. This evening, and just to say congratulations to our royal family on the birth.